Hello, welcome to Breathe I'm going to do a chakra reading for the collective. So I'm going to use the chakra wisdom oracle cards. And then I'm going to pull from the power of chakras deck. Alright, and I'm doing this on my bed because my table is still set up for the money readings that I got to finish out this week. Man, alright, so let's get into it. I'm hearing the word change and balance as well. But let's see what pops up. I'm also hearing release. Okay, we have the quest service. So maybe some of you guys um, are on the journey of helping others. Like teacher, healer. Self-worth is right here. So needing to work on yourself. That's where I'm getting the balance is needed. And I'm hearing one more time. Yeah. And destiny. You see they're in black and white. So I feel like, yeah, definitely balancing out the masculine and feminine energies or lower and higher vibes. Yeah. All right, let's see. We have the facade. All right, so something I hear is, like, fading away. Something is needing to be let go of. Acceptance. Accepting the loss of something um, that no longer is serving you of the highest good or, you know, of your benefit. Despondence. Some of you guys have been feeling stuck. Um, and because it's like you needing to accept what has been lost in order to gain something I'm hearing. Okay, and that's why you're kind of in like in this stuck energy. Alright, let's see. And next one we have the workaholic. So some of you guys have been working entirely too much on what it is that you're creating or wanting to create in your life and you needing to like go of that type of energy. I'm hearing because that could also, you know, I'm hearing like block you in ways. We have a miracle. So there is a miracle coming, yeah, but there's a lot of confusion on what it is that you need to do moving forward because you're so focused on the past for some of you guys. And then we have faith and gratitude. Beautiful cards coming out together here. I love these cards, okay? And with the faith and gratitude, like, that really speaks of where you need to be kind of moving into letting go of something that no longer serves you accepting the fact that this has to be let go of because it's been blocking you and your growth moving forward it's also causing some confusion in your life which is also like a mental blockage in a way and then we have the workaholic energy here so it's very un imbalanced like you're imbalanced when you're doing too much of something you know what i mean so that's where that kind of comes from and then with the miracle i feel like there's a lot of beautiful things to come in the future or in the near future i'm hearing um as long as you're willing and able to let go of what no longer is needed um learn what you can from it so you can continue to grow and move on with faith and gratitude i feel like you're going to need to focus on the more positive things in your life and that's really going to help you um to move into a better you know alignment but also into a better space within not only yourself but in life in general all right and then underneath it all we have forgiveness so there might be something that you need to forgive or to forgive yourself i'm going to pull from the top yeah there's a lot of wisdom to be learned from what it is that you've gone through in the past um but don't let that stop you or hinder you okay all right let me see all right, so now we're going to get into... Okay, hold on. I'm hearing that I need to pull more from this deck. All right, let's see what else God wants to speak. And I just seen three, four, five on the clock. Not sure what that means as far as angel numbers. But definitely look it up. Because there could be a message there for you. see what else comes out all right what other messages do you have for them well forgiveness again i'm hearing you need to forgive yourself or forgive someone else to move on passion follow what it is that you're passionate about okay some of you guys like i said earlier it's like a service that you're doing for other people maybe some of you guys are helping the elderly maybe some of you guys are i'm hearing wanting to volunteer or just spend time with people who are elderly to help them out um Oh, I'm hearing before they're passing for some of you guys to be a family member, like you're just spending time with them, or for others, it's like you want to help older people because you know they're passing on, something like that. Wow, well, look at that word popped out. And I said this a few times like the balance definitely is needed. And there's a lot of angry faces here, 
what I'm hearing, don't mind that the angry faces continue to work on yourself. Your grief, yeah, this is something that people need to let go of, and this could be because someone, like I said, someone might be on their way to passing or something like that, and you're spending more time with them, but, you know, they may need your forgiveness, something like that, or you may need to forgive them. Mm. And that's it, you know what? I'm mean, even trying to get into the deepness of that, but maybe it's like someone's on their deathbed or something, and they want your forgiveness. Hmm. But I feel like with the balance here, that's like part of karma. Something like that can be tied into that. Anyways, but back to what I was saying. Then we have the vanity here. Some of you guys are going to get a lot of attention from what it is that you're, you know, focused on creating or building, whatever it is, your passion project I'm hearing. And then we have mysticism. So there's a lot of things that are hidden from you. But that's for a reason. I'm not those things are hidden from you. And as you see, like, these are like the purple colors. When I think of like the purple in um, the chakras, I think of the, well, either the third eye or the crown chakra, I really think about when it comes to these things. And I feel like that energy is really um, introspective in a way, but also part of the connectivity around you with other people. And then for the vanity here, um, the blue is the throat chakra, I believe. Yeah, blue is throat chakra. So when it comes to that, some of you guys, it's like how you speak. Well, yeah, and the blue again, your quest, you're going on this journey here. But it's like about um, how you're communicating certain things to other people. Right, and then we have the grief, which is the green heart chakra. Some of you guys are hurting. I'm needing to heal your heart. Passion. This is like the. I believe this is like the sacral or solar plexus. No, this is the sacral chakra. Yeah, which is like some of the lower. Um, it's like the lower part of the chakras, like in the body. Like see the orange areas down here. Kind of like in the belly, almost. Oh yeah, this one, it looks clearer on the book, so you can really see it. Like the arms here is the lower part of the body. Maybe some of you guys I'm hearing are experiencing some type of discomfort there, and maybe that's why, um, because that needs to be more in alignment as far as your chakras go. Um, this song is called Ascension, so maybe some of you guys are going through an ascension period. Some changes or shifts are happening for you guys. Um, and it's really affecting your body. Sometimes that happens because I've gone through a few different ascension periods where it's like going to the next level where I can feel it in different ways. Um, and sometimes it, it does take a physical effect on you, you know, depending on which chakras you still need to align with, um, bring into more alignment or what you need to heal, you know, in that area. Let me see. Speaking on that. Because we're talking about that. That's what we said. So this is the sacral chakra, right? So the sacral chakra. So if you guys can see this. Right, the key issues, relationships, violence, addiction. So maybe it could be like addiction. Some of you guys are, you know, working on. Okay, and let me see. Does it say? No. Inner aspects is like your feelings. Physical action reproduction so maybe some of you guys are pregnant or mental action like be creativity so again we spoke a lot about like something that you're creating you're you're wanting to create so maybe it could be something like that you know that you're really focused on or need to focus more on right all right so now i'm going to go ahead and pull from the power of chakras deck this beautiful one here hold on let me grab my tea real quick grab a sip Let's get into it real quick. I'm just going to put like one or two cards. And then see what the book says about it. It's like a final message. And see, these are so pretty. Chakra wisdom cards. And these ones were a gift. My mom, she got them for me. Let's see. I wonder if we'll pick up more on that sacred chakra. Or I did see a lot of like the purple and the crown chakra too. In the past reading, that's literally hilarious. Wow, look, and then the crown chakra, <laughs> and again, that same orange beautiful color of the sacred chakra popped up on the other side. 
Well, again, I'm seeing that, that freaking same purple. Okay, let's see. One more. Beautiful. All right, God, what is the last message that you have for the collective as far as their chakras to help them? Ooh, I like the, the sixth chakra. The third eye. Mindfulness. It says, I am aware of my thoughts and ask myself, are they uplifting or are they true? I do this because I know that my thoughts significantly, significantly, sorry, affect my mental, emotional, and physical health. And because I know that my body believes everything that I believe, I am not in control of all situations that come my way, nor I am in control of what others do or say. However, I do have free will as to how I respond. I choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting. Beautiful. 11, 11 on the clock. But yeah, definitely. That's a beautiful ending to this beautiful chakra reading. So keep that in mind as well. Maybe this is, you know, speaking back on what it is that needs to be forgiven and let go of or moving on from. It could have been a confrontation or a situation between you and someone else um, that you need to heal from. So, you know, just keep that, you know, message in mind um, as you move forward. You know, I'm hearing making enlightened decisions versus just reacting to things. Um, you know, oh, there's a card in there. Oh, well, look at that. There was a card in the box. Sometimes it happens on purpose, I swear. So let's see what this is about. Oh, yes. And this ties into the reading, too. This is all about creative expression. The throat chakra. And that's funny because we spoke about the throat chakra being significant earlier. And how you, you know, expressing something. And also for some of you guys, you know, creating something came up a lot. All right. So as it says, I'm committed to sharing and Revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. I express myself through talking, singing, sighing, laughing, and crying, and through using my creative talents. Beautiful. I consciously use my senses to experience my world more fully. I see, hear, smell, and feel more. And I become more aware. <laughs> dogs all jumping up my lap. I become more aware of my surroundings, such as the weather, aromas, people, nature, sounds, and sights. Very beautiful, right? Well, this has been the chakra reading. I'm gonna start doing these like on a monthly basis for the collective. Um, you know that way I can really bring out more content for you guys. Um, but also to connect with with all of you that are on my channel supporting and showing love here i'm gonna give that right back and support you guys through your changes in your life um, as you transition into different things that you are going through um helping to give you guys some advice or enlightenment or even just motivation on your journey um and also messages that we share with you know from god so thank you guys so much for watching um and i hope you all enjoyed this video Thank you.